Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and I just got back from WWDC 2022, and Apple has released a brand new operating system, Mac OS Ventura, and one of the biggest questions you have is, can I install it on my older Mac with OpenCore Legacy Patcher? Well, I'm going to give you a status update on the situation next. I was lucky enough to be picked by Apple to be able to attend WWDC 2022 in person live at Apple headquarters in Cupertino, California. And the best part was is Mokola, who is the co-developer of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, was also picked and I was able to meet him in person. As soon as the keynote was over, we were able to rush over to the area where we could download the latest beta in this section right here. And we were able to get the full installer really quickly and Mokola already jumped in and started looking at it along with the other open core legacy patcher developers at the same time and it was to be honest, an absolute roller coaster because as soon as they started looking at it, they found some serious issues with the installer. And one of the biggest ones is that all the drivers that sometimes have still been included in the full installer were removed for all hardware that was unsupported. And one of the worst parts of the entire announcement was the hardware supported list. This tweet basically sums up the situation. In my opinion, this was an absolute massacre for or previous old hardware. The dropped Mac hardware for Mac OS Ventura is 2015 and 2016 MacBook Pro, which is to me the shocking part. We figured that 2015 would be dropped, but the 2016 part was just that uh, that one surprised me the most because that's still widely used and there's millions of the 2016 macbook pro out there and wait till this fall when mac os is made public when these users find out that they can't install ventura and their machine now is on their way out for being obsolete the 2015 and 2017 macbook air was cut out and that was another one that was surprising because the 2017 version was sold until 2019 the 2016 12 inch macbook the 2014 mini which is sold into 2019 18, the 2013 Mac Pro, which we thought was going to stick around because it was sold until December of 2019, and the 2015 iMac. All these Macs can run Mac OS Ventura with no problem, especially how well they ran Mac OS Monterey. So the fact that they were dropped was disappointing. And again, we expected some of the models in 2015, but to see this whole lineup get cut was, again, pretty shocking. This post here gives a better idea of the numbers. This is the Intel Mac board ID supported list. And on this side, you can see this is Mac OS Monterey. There's 42 individual Intel devices that are supported, but Mac OS Ventura only has 26 Intel models that are left that are still supported. We are starting to see the Intel list slowly get chipped away here before we're all M1, M2. So after we found out the list of Macs that were dropped from support for Mac OS Ventura, the OpenCore Legacy Patchers immediately then moved to finding out what was changed in the installer. And one of the biggest things that they found was is that all of the drivers for unsupported Macs were stripped from the Ventura installer. In previous versions of Mac OS Big Sur, and Mac OS Monterey, some of the drivers were still there. So you could install Mac OS Monterey or Big Sur on those Macs and not have to install the post install root patches. But now with Mac OS Ventura, there's no drivers to fall back on at all. They all have to be put back in. So all those devices are gonna have to run the post install root patches. Now it's not the end of the world, but it was still nice that were some of the models with both of those OS's that you were able to run without the post install root patches. That's some thing that the developers looking at and they're dealing with right now. There's a bunch of other changes and I'm going to include a link in the description and in, in the upper right hand corner. There's a document that's being written up right now by Discord Open Core Legacy Patcher user Crystal Ball. He's writing a wonderful document that will show all of the information and current status of what's going on with Ventura and Open Core Legacy Patcher. And I'm going to post that because this is going to be changing and it already has changed. We're not even done with the first week here. There's already been some great developments in getting the patcher to work on older models. But again, I do not recommend you trying to download OpenCore Legacy Patcher and trying to install Ventura on your unsupported Mac yet because there's just so many problems with it right now. Even if you get it installed, there's absolutely no graphics acceleration working right now. You'll also find like there's some websites like this ad filled Elite Mac X86 form guide that walks, I can't even get 
can't even close this ad, jeez, that walks you through how to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher on a Mac with macOS Ventura, the absolute official guide is this guide right here. Don't trust any other guide that you see out there. Now, if you want to experiment, that's up to you, but this is the guide. And whenever I go through an update video or a walkthrough, I always follow the guide. And there's plenty of people who would like a visual guide on how to install it. And that's why I use this guide because this is the official guide. With that said, there's still, like I mentioned, a lot of work going on and the situation is going to change. This is probably going to be the one of many updates that I'm going to give you on the current situation. And if it changes or there's a workable install, you know that I will give you an update video and walk you through how to get it running on your Mac. But again, for now, I would just hold back, sit back, let the developers work. They're working really hard right now to see what they can do to get Ventura working on older Macs. And they're doing an absolute fantastic job. It's great to be able to see the community to come together and try to work as hard as they can to get it working. That's so. a quick update on macOS Ventura and OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I cannot wait to see what the developers put together for this and see it working on an unsupported Mac. It was so great to be able to see and meet McCola at WWDC to be able to see what he could do right away with the installer. It was absolutely amazing to be able to talk with him about that whole process. While we're waiting for the macOS Ventura news for OpenCore Legacy Patcher, I'm also going to, like I mentioned earlier, put out a video that shows my experience experience with McCola at WWDC 2022. Plus I'm going to fall back and work on some other videos around Mac OS Ventura to be able to help you with installation and different things. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you watching this video and you will catch you in the next one. Thanks.